welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you this Father's Day DIY plaque. This is really simple to make um, and you can really customize these based on your dad's hobbies or what he likes. This one says gone fishing and then we have a little worm here, um, a worm lure. We have some string to look like um, line, fishing line, and some weights. But you could totally do a basketball one, maybe that's orange and black and says shoot and hoops. Or if your dad likes NASCAR, you could do um, like maybe a checkered flag here with a NASCAR saying, and you could do golf. You really can customize this to any need that you, um, any hobby that your dad likes. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. I'm very glad that I can celebrate Father's Day with my father. And Happy Father's Day, you know, to all the moms also that participate as fathers as well. And I hope that you guys really enjoy this tutorial. You can follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, all at TanyaMarie715. Check me out on Facebook at DIY with Tanya. I post a lot of fun DIYs on there that you can find on the internet, as well as all of my DIY videos and other creative hacks for life and beauty, things that I find online that I think are interesting to share with you guys. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys will subscribe and please hit this video with a thumbs up and I will see you very soon. For this tutorial, you will need a glue gun, some wooden letters, a couple of paint brushes, some little worm lures from the fishing section, some sandpaper, pliers, I got some nylon braided rope in the color white. This is 1 8 inch thick and this is going to be resembling our fishing line but our fishing line is a little too thin for what we're doing so this is what I am using. I also got some weights like you would use on your fishing line. You will need a little wooden plaque. This is a 5 by 7 It's from the brand Art Minds and it comes from Michaels. Also, you will need some paint. I am going to be using Ceramico paint in Green Missile, Folk Art paint in Honeycomb, and Folk Art paint in Asphaltium. Asphaltium. That's a long one for a paint name. But yeah, all of these supplies are available at your local craft stores and Walmart. To start off, I'm going to paint my letters. The plaque is going to say Gone Fishing, painting our letters, and that is what I am using the Folk Art Honeycomb paint for. And I'm just going to paint the tops and sides of each letter. So while our letters dry, we're going to go ahead and work on our plaque. So I'm going to take my sandpaper and just sand any rough edges on my plaque. Okay, so once your plaque is nice and smooth, we're going to go ahead and start painting. I'm going to start up here because I'm going to paint this inner plaque color the green that I showed you in the supply list. And then the rest of the plaque is going to be a different color. I'm going to carefully outline the entire plaque and then I'll go in with a bigger brush and fill in. Okay, 
while that coat dries, we're going to go ahead and start on the brown part of our plaque. So I'm going to go rinse off my brush and get started on that. So I'm going to start by mapping out the brown with a small detail brush and then I'll fill in the rest with a regular brush. dry and we'll come back and do a second coat of the green. Okay, we're going to let that dry and then I'm going to go back in with a definer in the brown paint and just fill in any white spaces along the edges. Now for the back, you can either leave it blank or you can paint it. I'm going to paint mine since I will probably be putting this for sale on my Etsy site. If you guys want, I will leave my Etsy site. I have three sites. Um, I will leave them all linked below if you want to check them out. I'm just going to peel this sticker off. I might have to take it over to the sink to get it wet and peel it off. And then I'm going to sand it down and just paint the back. dried I took our Mod Podge spray and I sprayed the front the back and the letters before we move on to the next step and I let that dry completely I'm using the matte acry acrylic spray but you can um, use the gloss or I think there's like a semi finish as well so I didn't have this on the supply list but I'm gonna go ahead and use some E6000 to put the letters on. Um, I was going to use the hot glue gun, but I think it'll leave too much of a gap between the letters and the plaque. So I'm going to use this for that and then use the hot glue gun for everything else. And then we are going to assemble our plaque. So we're going to take our letters and our plaque is going to say gone fishing. And you just kind of want to get them all nice and even and organized. And don't forget we want to leave room at the bottom for our little worm. So we'll move all these up. If you glue, glue residue around your letters, you can just take a toothpick or a sharp object and scrape it away.
that you're running out of room, you can scoot your letters over and then we can just go back and scrape out the glue that was in there or you can just paint over it. So next we're going to hot glue our worm down. So I'm just going to take my hot glue and put it on one side of the worm and then stick it down to our plaque. Okay, we're going to let all that dry and then we'll come back and attach the hanger. Now that all of our letters and our worm are dry, we want to take our rope and make a hanger. I'm just going to open this up. Okay, I'm going to flip this over to the back side. And I'm going to see where I want, how long I want my rope to be for the hanger. So I'm thinking something like this would do, just a small bit of, I can't really see that, just a small bit of line. I don't want to go too long or it's going to look awkward on the small plaque. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this right here. And you can go ahead and burn the end of your line since this will be glued down. I'm not really going to worry about it. Okay, and then we're going to take our hot glue gun, and I'm going to glue down this side. I'm going to try to glue it in between the hump and this hump, so right here, and just leave about an inch down. Okay, I'm just going to stick it straight onto the wood so that it has better grip, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Actually, this is getting a little long where I did it, so I'm going to kind of shrink this down and recut. I didn't like that, so let me recut right here. Okay, I like that better. And do the same over here. Okay, we're going to let that sit, and then we're going to add some of the fishing weights to our um, little hanger here. Now that our hanger is nice and secure, you want to go ahead and add your weights to the hanger. So I just got a small little pack. These are size 3. I figured these would be big enough to fit on the rope. Um, pop them open here. Okay, this is what they look like when you open them. And then they have this part down here which opens and closes your weight. So I'm going to take some pliers and try to open it a little bit. So that opens up your little weight here. And I'm going to stick my first one right here. Okay, we need to open our weight up just a little bit more. So once again, I'm just going to take my pliers and open it. Okay, that should be good. Then I'm just going to find my center point up here and stick this right down next to that. And to close the weight, you're going to take your pliers again. And then you just squeeze down on the mouth that was open and that will stick onto our string like that. You can glue yours if you would like but it is not necessary so I'm going to go ahead and add weights to the rest of the hanger and then we will be done. completed project ready to be wrapped and given to our dad on Father's Day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you have a great Father's Day and I will see you soon.